Hello, Internet, and welcome to Trick or Treat. Uh, it kind of just jumped right in while I was in the process of trying to get everything ready, so there was a guy that said, you know, asked me if I was there, told me I need to get somewhere, and then it said I need to get to my house real quick, and it literally just spawned me in in this very brick uh, environment. Uh, got the volume kind of turned up a little bit, so uh, I'll try to talk... Wow, I jump high. Look at that. 4,000 pieces left. 4,000 pieces of what? Wow, look how how much I can jump. I am, like, amazing. I'm just amazed at how, how much I can... How... Am I on, like, Mars? The moon or something? Uh, let's see. E? E? No, it's not space. To open doors, click and drag the direction you want to. There we go. Okay. 4,000 pieces left. Can you hear me? Hello. 4,000 pieces left. Don't I don't understand so that. Oh. I need to prepare my own house. Let's find out what I mean if you Good God. Know. Come on. Oh my Hello. God, this door. Alright, I'm already Hello. having problems with this door. Can you, can you see this? Hear me? Can you see this? Hello. Okay, there we go. If you don't think I'm it's like soon, inverted for some reason. I need to prepare my own house. Hey man, okay. So what should I do? Just get some candy out for the kids? Yeah, I can tell you're new here. Things work a bit differently for us, as real monsters try to get your candy. Ha ha, very funny, Sam. No, really. Any good stores around here? I'm not joking, Michael. And if you're not prepared, they will be very upset. So you expect me to believe that monsters exist and just want candy? Don't be absurd. Yes, although if you don't have any candy, they will go for the next best thing. You. Okay, assuming this is real, what should I do? Hold on. I'm sending you an email now. Okay, so now I go to the computer. I don't know why I was going to the computer beforehand. That was just, you know, me trying to be rude, apparently. And now I can't move. And it looks like the game might have... Oh, there we go. Um, just click mail. the link. It has a few applications that you can use to research the monsters and order supplies. The store for weapons is a bit new, but more products should come throughout the night. Cool. I don't know why I need weapons or anything, but that's cool. Anyway, watch out. Uh, Halloween tonight. Smiley face. Uh, watch out, Michael. Tonight's the night. You probably want to hide all your candy. Those pesky monsters will, will want to taste. Quite, uh, smiley face. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a link to the cool application that will get you uh, creatures and also order supplies. The store is a little new, but things will come throughout the night. Have fun. New book. Sam, I'm writing a new book. It's about a videotape that kills people after one hour. Survival terror that will scare the pants off anyone who reads it. Here's a link. Don't you think that's a little derivative? Sam. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Now there we go. go. To the store. I got it. I got it. I got it. Where? How do I go into the store? Do I just? Ah. Uh, the vamp. Okay. The vampire. Vampire was popularized in the 1800s when superstition worked its way quickly throughout the Western Europe. A vampire in its most basic form is a creature that sucks the life force, mainly blood, out of its victims. A vampire can be tree created when an animal jumps over a grave, causing it the deceased to rise with a hunger for life force. I don't think that's how it's really... I don't... I could be completely wrong. <sighs> Vampires are repelled by holy items, garlic, and rose bushes. Putting mustard in your room was said to help protect you from vampires as well. The only way to properly kill a vampire is through a stake through its heart. Many bodies were staked before burying in fear of them coming back to life. And for the first three nights, someone would watch the grave to ensure the safety of the town. It's a manticore... Persian mythology, similar to a sphinx. Uh, scorpion tail and wings, depending on the story. The scorpion tail can shoot poison darts, paralyzing its victims. 
Nathan Moman, flying piece of cloth or toilet paper. They originated in Japan and are types of tirushigami. I cannot pronounce freaking words like that. Uh, uh, shapeshifters, and because of the one tail, warriors man to slay one, but instead it's man no blood behind. A Wendigo. I've been uh, watching videos that kind of feature Wendigos. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. After killing the Wendigo, the tribe would burn the remains after cutting them up. The Wendigo is more of a reflection of people living in the camp as they would turn to cannibalism once food ran out. If they did, it is said they would turn into a Wendigo. Okay. Wow, aren't these a bit expensive? I haven't had too much money since I bought this place. You'll live. Okay, let's get started. Grab one of those automated projectile systems. That's a mouthful. Okay, now let's get some ammo and a sensor. On most of these nights, vampires are the first to show, so I would suggest getting a few stakes. Next, get a sensor add-on. Tell me when you're done. Okay, done. Cool. Now just hit buy and it'll be delivered to you. Oh my, that was quick. Alright. Hey look, a box. Cool. Now let's get you prepared. Grab one of the automated... Just call them shooters or something. Fine. Grab one of the shooters off the wall and place it in front of the door, facing your candy. Okay, it's just them right here, I guess. Alright, that's, that's a little odd. That is a little odd. Cool. Now grab some stakes and load them in. Alright, so now I'm back to where I was because I'm derp and I closed out the game. I didn't realize I had to come back in here and just grab some stakes. Or click on them, I guess. And then come back over. Over here. Finally, there attach we go. one of those sensors we bought. That'll make it only shoot when enemies are near. Um, where are those? There it is. Got him hidden around here. It's like freaking playing Where's Waldo, but with things and nothing. What? I don't know. Uh, the frame rate is terrible in this game, too. I mean, not that I'm judging, it could be just me, just be my computer, which honestly is not the best of computers. I'm working on that, I know I've been saying that for over a year, but I am working on that. To be fair, the town mayor gave that. us a button which tells the enemy we are ready, only this time we're fighting back. Press it, and get ready for the first wave of monsters. Oh, Great. Oh jeez, this is real, isn't it? Good luck. Okay, I have to go now, I need to prepare my own house. I'll be back shortly. Don't forget to get more webs as the night goes on. Hope you survive. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so... Great. Uh, oh my god, look at them. They're digging my foods. Oh my god, the frame rate is terrible. And my stakes aren't even hitting them. At this point, I think it's a fruitless endeavor. I think they're just going to eat all my candy. So, I'm going to end this video here because this really hasn't been much. And it's kind of really stressing me out because I don't really know what it wants from me half of the time. So... I did have fun playing this once I got an idea for what I was doing a little bit, but then I didn't do it right, apparently. And they're eating all my, my candies. So, if you enjoyed this video game, if you enjoyed this video, press the thumbs up button under the screen. If you'd like me to play any other games, uh, go ahead and suggest them in the comments below. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Uh, my name is Bink Deadpool. This has been Trick or Treat. Have a happy and safe Halloween, and we will see each other in the next video. Till then, peace out.
but I'm... Ah! Eh. Too fast, Green! Too fast! Oh! Okay. 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 Uh, okay. No idea what just happened. No idea. Okay. So, uh, you guys just, uh, melding together, like, doing the thriller dance, eating my candy and stuff like that. That's cool. I, I won't judge.